Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chika and if you don't know me, I'm a Japanese American living in Tokyo and sorry if the background is really loud. They're doing some construction outside and it's bothering the heck out of me, but hopefully it's not as loud on the video. Today I'll be talking about the top five things I miss about the United States and for background reference, I was born and raised in Florida and then back in 2018 I moved to Japan for the first time. So I've been here for approximately three years and there are just certain things that isn't the same, so that's what I'll be talking about today, so let's go. So the first thing I really miss about the States is the liberty of clothing. Wow, that sounds really fancy when I say it like that, but I miss being able to just walk in yoga pants and go to the grocery store or like just being able to wear like a tube top or like a spaghetti strap without people thinking you're promiscuous. You know how like in American elementary school there's like the four finger rule where you are allowed to wear a sleepless as long as it was like four fingers worth of fabric? But I don't know about now but it kind of feels like that in Japan too where if you're wearing like a spaghetti strap or like a tube top people kind of look at you in a weird way as if like you're showing a little too much skin and I miss being able to wear what I like because I do like wearing tube tops and spaghetti tops spaghetti tops now I'm getting hungry and for reference this is how I used to dress before moving to Japan and this is how I dress now living in Japan for three years or actually I started dressing like this pretty much like the day I started living in Japan obviously I don't like judgment but more than that I kind of wanted to respect Japanese culture if that makes sense if the norm for going out or like going in a train or going to a supermarket is to like be a little bit more formal then I felt like maybe I should like take that into consideration when picking out my outfit so now my wardrobe looks a little bit different but that's okay because I don't go out because I don't have a social life so it doesn't really matter for me anyway. But now I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable living in Japan. I kind of know what's pushing the limits and what's not in terms of like cultural mindset and like unwritten rules. So maybe I'll start exploring a little bit more with clothing that I can wear. So the next thing I miss about the States is definitely centralized AC or air conditioning. Because in Japan, you may have seen, I don't know if you can see, let me show you. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the AC that we have. And basically, it's located in the major rooms, like the living room and the bedroom. And that's it. So when you're walking in the hallway or going to the restroom or just going to like the sink washer area, there's no AC. So in the summer, it's hot as balls. And in the winter, you freeze your ass into sorbet. So I was definitely not used to that at first and I really missed centralized heating. Even though having like an AC where you need it and you can turn it off and on is really like efficient. I know that places like in Hokkaido where it's super duper cold, have centralized heating, but here in Tokyo, it's more common to see those little blocks of AC in the main rooms. But when I first moved here, I definitely was not expecting my ass to freeze every time I wanted to use the restroom. And now that I have learned, in the winter, I would like wear a hoodie and like wear extra sweatpants and also maybe more fuzzy socks every time I would just go to the restroom. So that's the degree of the temperature difference that it can have. The next thing I miss about the states is how are you? And I know that like if you work in retail or food service or wherever you like deal with customer service in the states, you probably say this like a hundred times a day and I know you're probably tired. I know I was but in Japan you don't really say that to people. In terms of customer service, they are really polite but they never ask you how are you. And even if it's just like a superficial how are you? I'm, I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Kind of thing. I kind of miss that kind of communication because you don't really do that with like acquaintances or friends either. Maybe in like textbook Japanese there's like how are you is equivalent to genki desu ka but in my life living here for three years I've never heard anyone use that phrase just because it's very awkward if you say how are you it's, it's kind of like how do you do sir like it, it seems a little off if you say like genki desu ka in like a super casual context like I know like people ask how you're doing like once you sit down with them and they could be like oh like how have you been these past like weeks days etc but you don't really hear it in like You know what, I'm just gonna keep going regardless of whatever the heck that's outside because 
The show goes on, even though this is not a show, this is just a tragedy of my life that I'm talking about. But yeah, since it's not really used in conversations, like, as casually as it was in the States, I do kind of miss that because for me, when being asked, how are you, it was like a moment of self-reflection. Oh, like, how am I doing today? I guess I'm doing fine. Or, oh, I'm like a little tired right now. I should probably rest after doing this kind of thing. And it really helped to self-reflect and to get to know that person, even if it was a, like, a person doing a cashier for me. It was kind of a nice gesture to, like, kind of get to know that person, even on, like, a surface level. So if you're watching this, how are you? Please let me know that in the comment sections because I am genuinely curious. I haven't asked this question to like anyone recently because of living in Japan. So please let me know how you are doing. And I myself is very annoyed with the the background noise right now. I don't know how much is gonna be heard in the audio, but like I get anxious trying to speak over things because I just I'm just a weak person in general. And natural selection is coming for me. Now, next thing I miss about the states is the size of the apartments. Except. If you're living in New York or something, that's a different story. If you see my room tour, it is very tiny and especially in Tokyo, more than I think any other place in Japan, it's tiny because of the population. I pay like four times more than what I did living in student housing back in Florida, yet this place is four times smaller. So that's kind of like the how small it is and it, I kind of sometimes feel like I live in like a very small shoebox but luckily I'm a pretty tiny person so it doesn't bother me too much but maybe I would have felt fine if I wasn't from the States, like I, if I was just born and raised in Japan, in Tokyo, I would have been used to this. But since I was raised in Florida, where there's nothing but land, there's not even a mountain. There's this land, alligators, and crazy Florida men. So I do miss that a lot. And as a disclaimer, there are bigger apartments in Tokyo too, except usually they're really old and it's kind of unsafe because they, they were built so old that it's not like the newest standards of like earthquake proof housing. So that's why I chose a newer but smaller place because my mentality is unstable to begin with so I didn't want to double in on that instability, you know? Number one thing I miss about the States is, you guessed it, or you might have guessed it because I said this before, is the fact that there is no authentic Tex-Mex in Japan. There is Tex-Mex, but it hits different. It feels like a, a, like a healthy wrap instead of like a burrito if you get a burrito in Japan, if that makes any sense. Um, they don't have Chipotle, they don't have Moe's, which were like my top two go-to places because my favorite cuisine is Tex-Mex and they have Taco Bell and they do have tacos and burritos here, but like, I don't know what the right word is. There is not enough cheese, it doesn't taste unhealthy enough, and it doesn't satisfy me the way that American Moe's and Chipotle does. And by the way, I might get a lot of backlash for this, but I do like Moe's a little bit better than Chipotle because of their free refills on chips if you eat in the store. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I used to enjoy that a lot as a broke college student back then. And my aspiration in life is to become like Tex-Mex. Hot and cheesy, but I guess that's not happening anymore because there is none in Japan, so I don't know what to aspire to be right now. Sad. But yeah, these are my top five things currently that I miss from the States and it might change. Two years ago, it was like jumbo marshmallows that I missed from the States. So maybe I can like make a new video in like the future years coming up. It might be totally different. But right now, I miss these five things and when it's safe enough to go travel, I might go travel back to the States and visit my friends in Florida. So I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to wearing basically nothing and going to Target proud with my spaghetti strap and my booty shorts. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching up to this point. If you have watched up to this point, you are a real one. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already. And please turn on the bell notification because it really helps with my algorithm. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Sorry for the noise again. Bye.